Hello and welcome to the first in our series of Paramix Discovery 18 tutorials. And in this tutorial one, we're looking at vehicle marking. So I've got a model open here and in the Visualize tab and the Visualize menu, I can select the vehicle marking panel. And when I've got the vehicle marking panel up, I can create rules. And these rules um, can be for a variety of different conditions. Uh, in this case, I'm going to select a rule for uh, the demand set uh, called AM development, and that's the development traffic in this model that we've got. So the development traffic is going to and from zone 10, and the way that I set up the rule means that that traffic is going to be colored in green. So we can see that some of the vehicles going in and out of zone 10 are green. Those are the ones that are added into this model as part of that new development, and we can see some of the green vehicles on other parts of the network as we watch it there. So demand sets are one of the things that we can uh, set in our vehicle marking, but there are various other things as well. For example, we can mark the familiar or unfamiliar vehicles on the network. So in this case, I'm looking for uh, vehicles that are in the development traffic, but are familiar. So it's gonna be a smaller set than the first one. And when I select a vehicle, you can see that the familiarity says yes, so that's a familiar vehicle. We could do the same for unfamiliar as well. Let's create another rule. We'll color the vehicles red in this case. I'm just gonna move down to a different section of the network. And um, what I want to do in this one is look at the from to condition. Now, when I'm using from and to, I can choose a from link and a to zone, or I could choose from zone and to link. I can choose any combination of those uh, um, link and zone from and to. Now, we're marking, in this case, red vehicles that are going from link 27 and 28 into zone 5. So that's the ones that are turning right can see uh, node 28 there, turning right into zone five. And what I'm using this for is to check that they're using uh, the correct lane. Let's try another uh, condition. So this time I'm gonna look for queued vehicles. So I'm highlighting all of the queued vehicles in the network in blue. And you can see those there. When they're in a queued state, they turn blue. So that's when they've slowed down to a certain speed. And when they come out of that queued state, uh, they go gray again. Now I can also add another condition and I'm using an or statement instead of an and statement. Um, so if they're queued or the speed is below 15 miles per hour, then color the vehicles blue. And you can see those uh, there on the network. And then the final condition that we can use is the type of vehicle. So by using the drop down menu here, I can select my heavy goods vehicle and my medium goods vehicle. And so I'm now selecting vehicles that are queued or below 15 miles per hour and are either medium or heavy goods. And we can see one of the heavy goods vehicles there. So there's lots you can do now in Paramus Discovery with vehicle marking uh, using all of these different conditions and also combining them uh, using and and or statements. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you find this tutorial useful and you enjoy using this feature. It'll be in Paramus Discovery 18 coming in June 2017. Thanks very much. Bye.